Get over here! What happened here? I'm guessing that this is basically the timeline where we didn't win. Galaga destroyed everything or something. I don't know. Or apparently, apparently in this timeline, uh, Juan did destroy Galaka, but is now Salvador? Because that- that guy at the beginning of the game, at, in the last episode, looked like Juan. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, how's it going everybody? Welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Wakamele 2. In the last episode, um, we got introduced to what the heck is going on. Juan is, uh, definitely... He's got to let himself go a bit, but hopefully we can get that rectified in the coming episodes. Anyway, in this episode, we got to go find Tostada, but before I go, I'm going to go ahead and do a little exploration here. Juan, Dios mío, is that really you? This is all very bad. I'm worried that I might not go get to see the series finale of all my chickens. That's what you're worried about, Fry? Ugh, never change, Fry. Anyway, what do we got? Juicy Bisonte Burritos. Oh, I could really go for a burrito right now. Prisión? Huh. Something tells me I'll be able to go in there later, but anyway. Um, who else we got? I didn't know... I didn't know White Peck was the, was the Salvador. I heard she died 100 years ago. Wait, what? Clearly I'm missing something. Um, let's talk to a few others. Wow. Who knew, uh, who knew that all this time, this town was hiding some kind of magical artifact? Makes you wonder, what kind of other secrets does this town hold? Well, one of them is here, which I can't access right now. But, um, I think we'll get to that later. Actually, now that I think about it, th I think, uh, what's going to be happening is, like, I'll get a dimensional shift that will allow me to go between this timeline and the regular timeline, which is the one where we won. And that's what these open doors are going to be. I think that's the case, but we shall see. Anyway. Wow, I finally met Salvador the Snake. I had his poster when he beat Galaka. He was my favorite. One, one aguacate? You're alive? I, you know, actually I'm gonna give a, I, I'm gonna try this again, hang on. One, one aguacate? You're alive? I thought you died at the hands of Kalaka years ago. I don't know, like, doesn't that guy look like a Spanish Doug Dimidome? Just a bit. Anyway. La batalla del, la batalla del siglo. El hombre versus el esqueleto. Este viernes, 18 de mayo. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's, uh, it's He-Man versus, uh, uh, versus, uh, Skeletor. Un evento super especial. El Pantera. That's obviously Black Panther. Sasha. I'm not sure about this one. But it looks familiar. I I can't put my I can't put my finger on it, unfortunately. There used to be a tequila maker who lived near here a long time ago. You look a lot like him. You could be his cousin. Hmm. That weird magician had a dancing chicken troupe with him. Did I imagine that? It's been a weird day. Clearly. Alright. Here we go into the agave field. Be careful, young man. Nobody lived out here for years. Nothing left but dust and the odd esqueleto. So this is where my house would normally be. This music is sick, by the way. Oh, no. So in this timeline, yup, Casa de Juan is destroyed. Juan and Lupita are dead. Oh, boy. Well... The stakes just got higher. Let's see what this timeline has to offer. Nothing good, I imagine. Los Manglares. So yeah, this game is still as beautiful as I remember. Well, again, like, th this is a different game, but it's just as beautiful. If not, if not more beautiful than, uh, uh, than the first game, I, uh, dare I say. There we go. Oh, I'm like, I am a little bit. I'm. I am a little bit used to. Um, I am still a little bit used to the controls from the last game, especially because the game started me out by fighting the final boss. So, ah, uh, yep, 
I can't go up there unless I have the dimension swap, so. At least one still has a skills. No doubt that's going to require Boyo Power. Yeah, no, I, I, I actually did see a few things uh, involving Boyo Power during the, uh, uh, during the trailers of this game, so I'm looking forward to this. Yo, Tostada! You're looking good, girl! What? It is you! Why, Chivo really did it! That crazy goat! It's me, Tostada! Guardian of the Mask! Do you... remember me? It really is strange to see you... again. Nice mustache, by the way. So thick. Okay, calm down. Calm down, Tostada. Yeah, calm down, Tostada. We were so close to defeating Kalaka in this timeline, Juan. I swear we won't make the same mistake with Salvador. Just hold still and close your eyes. This will only take a second. Whoa! Uh, what just happened? Tostada? Ah, uh, okay. Well, before I get that, let's uh, take a look at what's in here real quick. Okay. Can't go in there yet. But I assume this is what we're coming- this is what we're after. So sorry about killing you back there. I had to get you to the world of the dead. Anyway, look! Here it is! It's a bit tattered from the last adventure. But it's waiting for you, Juan. Go on. Before you turn into a skeleton. Yep, here we go. <laughs> hey, we got our mojo back. Yeah! Re Resurrection! That's the one I remember. Although I kind of miss seeing the mustache. Now we just need to get you back to the world of the living. The council can help with that. The further east. In Pantanillo, the swamp town. Let's go, Juan. I'll be around if you need me. So yeah, this is where we can uh, get an additional player uh, to play as Tostada. Admittedly, I might do. I might play through this uh, game a second time um, with Amber, but uh, instead I would be like, uh, instead, like it would be just in our own time. I, I wanted this uh, playthrough to be a solo uh, let's play. Admittedly. So, I believe that with this mask on, uh, we got the grabs again. We do not have our super moves. Um, actually, we have a move list here. Okay, Luchador Lift. The, uh, the Downer Cut. Really? Downer Cut. Um, do we have anything else? Uh, yeah. No, we only have our basic move set. I guess we need to, I guess we need to be retaught our moves from last time, which is fine. Um, I kind of expected that. It's, it's, a, it's a classic, you lose all your pa you, you lose all your abilities. Okay, okay, yeah, here we go. We are in the world of the dead, and so this is uh, available. Um, let's see what's over here first. Oh, I can't because I don't have the rooster uppercut. Well, this game is definitely, de definitely doing a good job in sending me in the right direction, as usual. Okay, here we go. Yep, this is the- this is what I remember. Alright. Oh man, so good to play this game again. Lucha! Yeah, baby! Oh, I remember this. Orale! Uh, so, how's it going, everybody? Um, as I said last episode, it is the new year. Um, 
what do we got here? Change costumes. Okay, so... Okay, so we... Wait, you can play as White Sheevil? Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. Okay, we got Juan, Tostada, White Chivo, Stabe? We can play a Stabe? Oh, wow. Okay, hang on a sec. Wait, can this have up to four players? Oh, nuts. Let's actually take a look at this real quick. Um. Yep, Tostada is still uh, the same, the same uh, awesome, awesome uh, badass luchadora that she was. White Chivo. Whoa! Okay. I was not expecting you to be able to play as White Chivo. I might actually use this sometime later. And Stabe? Wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to utilize this later. Maybe for some bonus stuff. I'm going to. I'm going to uh, be utilizing Juan for the most part, but. Wow. Okay. L. Uh, L trigger. Good to know. Wow. I, I knew we were I knew we would be able to play as a Oh, I see. So these guys I have to hit from behind. Good to know. I did not expect that you could play as White Chivo and those and uh and Shabe. Well, this game just got a little better. Alright, so anyway, as I was saying earlier, um, how's you guys' uh, ah, frick. How's you guys' uh, holiday uh, season? Um, the new year has come and gone, it is now 2020. At least, like, during the time of uh, this, uh, at least during the time I released this. Uh, whoa! You can also dodge enemy projectiles, of course. There we go. All right. And I can also become intangible by grabbing someone, as usual. There we go. <laughs> All right. But anyway. Christmas was pretty good. You guys get anything cool? Um, what did I get for Christmas? I got a, I got a few things for Christmas. Um, my fr Amber got me a few things. Like, um, she got me a, uh, she and along with a couple of other people. Ah, okay, jump low. Um, she and a couple of other people got me like some of those pop figurines. Um, I got one of the scouts and. Uh, hey, I'm a talented player. Thank you very much. Whoa. Go. I don't know if you guys can see those achievements popping up like on near the bottom of my screen, but they are there. There we go. Um, what else did I get for Christmas? Um, I got. Uh, I guess this. I guess this is appropriate for um for this game. Um, Amber's parents. Um, I think it was her dad maybe. Uh, got me a uh, got me a new bottle of tequila, which I haven't tried yet. I gotta. I gotta do that. Ouch. What else did I get? I got a lot of things, honestly. Most of most of it from my friends because, like, most of my family's in Honduras right now. My my parents are down there. My sister, uh, my sister Leslie. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Big ball. Uh, my sister Leslie did her own thing for uh, uh, for Christmas. Don't know what she's gonna do for New Year's. Ah, here we go. Ah, it's still the Chuzo statues. Are we still gonna have White Chivo coming in? Yep, there he is. One tostada. Finally, Dios mío, my butt was getting numb from hiding in that position. You're really looking like a proper luchador now, one. But fla but flashy guard means nothing without the fundamentals. You'll need to get reacquainted with the prop with the proper moves if you're going to face Salvador. In case you forgot, Chuzo statues hold the secrets of the ancient luchador techniques. The one you just rudely destroyed contained the legendary Rooster Uppercut. Rooster Uppercut breaks red blocks and can be performed in the air. 
but if you use it too much, you'll tire yourself out for a while. That's what you get for neglecting your training, man. Oh, that's a that's cool. I, re I really do like that art. Go get them, Juan. I'll meet you in I'll I'll meet you in the Pantanillo. All right, so there we there it is. Wow, it's a lot flashier than before. Nice. Oh, this feels great. All right, so I only have two ch two stamina uh, charges right now. Special moves require stamina. Okay. Yep. There we go. Oh man, that lingers for a while. I don't know if that. I don't know if it was like that uh, in the previous game. I feel like. I feel like the um. I feel like the hitbox is a little bigger too, maybe. All right, so far this game's this game's checking my boxes. Th this feels just like uh, this feels just as good as the last one, if not better, to be honest. Like maybe it's because of the lingering hitboxes and the oh geez and the increased like and the increased uh, uh, frames of like uh, frames of. Uh, I don't know, tangibility that the uh, Rooster Uppercut has. So far, good. So far, very good. Then again, what did I expect? I love the first game, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this second one. Ah, there they are. Gonna utilize uh, the uh, training I did before. Ah, okay, yeah, I forgot. I can, uh, I can stun these guys. Oh, jeez, my stamina was down. I can stun these guys uh, by utilizing uh, uh, the Rooster Uppercut. Here we go. Awesome. Ah, oh, this feels good again. I know I keep saying that, but. Oh! Oh, missed that. Beautiful. And hey, that looks familiar. Goodness gracious. Okay, that's new. Yeah, in case you guys can't already tell, uh, Mexico loves their chickens. Okay, um. I think that's just as simple as like jumping and then doing that. Yep, okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna feel the effects of only having two stamina, uh, two stamina bars. Oh, that looks nice. I'm going to assume safely that I can't enter that liquid, so. This music is awesome. Alright, so, eeny, meeny, miny, this way. Um, is this going back to where we were? Actually, let me check the map real quick. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a heart contain, uh, there's a, uh, there's a health piece, uh, over there, but I don't think I can get it yet. Let's check up here first. Yep, your this is still your classic Metroidvania flare. I love it. Beautiful. Ah. Okay, here we go. And you're done. Ah! Here we go. And down you- Oh, jeez. Oh, it sounds like this I had the frog slam. There we go. And there we go. First stamina- uh, First uh, heart- Or health piece, I guess. I don't know. Goodness gracious, that- 
That chicken goes at it. I'll admit, like, um, right now I am a little, I, I am struggling a bit to find things to talk about because it's been a while since I've done a solo Let's Play because I'm so used to, like, you know, having John to bounce off of and, like, that kind of thing. So this is gonna take me a while to get used to once again, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Okay, can't go there. Gotta do that. There we go. Yep. I still got it! Yeah, admittedly, like, um... When I was doing my top 50 favorite games of all time, um, I did notice that I really, really like Metroidvanias a lot. To be honest, I never really noticed until later down the line when it started becoming prominent. Um... Actually, let me see. Can I... Can I get that, uh, heart, uh, health piece? Actually. Oh, I think I can, actually. Yes, I can! Get out of here. Yep. There we go. Alright, let's get you over here. But anyway, yeah, like, I noticed that, uh, during my, uh, top- during my top 50 that I really, really, really like Metroidvanias. Um... The thing is... Okay, so quick story. Um, my top during my top ten, I opened up number ten with uh, with uh, that Helsing uh, uh, that Helsing uh, uh, speech by uh, the major about like the I love war speech, but I made it like I love Metroidvania speech. The thing is, that was impromptu. Um, I look, I was doing my top fifty, and like it was pretty much already written. Comic Foil and I had already had everything written down, but um, during that. While I was making the top 10, I noticed that, like, there were so many Metroidvanias, and, like, I love Metroidvanias in, uh, in, um, like, just overall as a genre, and hold that thought, guys. Okay, this is it. Pantanillo, the Paris of the Bog. There should be a portal back to the living world inside that giant tree trunk. Thank you, uh, thank you, Tostada. But anyway... Oh boy. Wow, don't you see a lot of luchadores around these parts? Welcome to Pantanillo. Thank you. Um, but anyway, yeah, like, oh goodness gracious, I'm getting interrupted all the over the place. Don't you just love the small town feel of this place? Tucked away in the bustle, from the bustling city life? Ah, so peaceful. I feel you, lady. I'm not a fan of uh, the city life either. Well, aren't you a strange sight? A living luchador in the dead world? You don't see that every day. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I had hi there, stranger. Please excuse me, I was just blasting my delts. Well now, would you be interested in getting fit? You don't need bony old me to tell you it'll take more than just listening to, to a just listening to a lecture. You gotta work, work, work! You know, I just realized that this might be a girl, because of, because of the pigtails. What should I do now? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it. Open up your skill screen with this to see the workouts I've got I got in store for you. Soon enough, you'll will have you ripped as all get out. I don't know. Doña Doña Chamoya Doña Chamoya. <laughs> I love that name. Okay, so... Oh, I see. Oh, so I can spend, uh... I can spend, uh... Gold to, uh... For upgrades. Cool. Doña Chamoya de Pantanillo. I kinda love this. Alright. I'm actually gonna get some more... Oh, no, I can't. I have to start with more health. There we go. Oh no, it's because, uh, uh, more stamina is 3,500 gold. Okay, good to know. So there's the map, there's the world. Okay, it's all coming back to me, everybody. What do we got in here? Oh, hi again! Come in, come in! Here for some extracurricular cardio? Well, let's see you do a 4K on this old treadmill. What's the look? You want a reward? Fitness is its own reward. 
All right, all right, I'll throw in some gold for you. Now show me what you got, young man. I guess this is as good a time as any. Your form needs some work, sweetheart. Now that's more like it. Work those quads, Luchador. Just a little farther, come on now. Heel toe, heel toe. And there we go. Anything else? Nope, I think that's it. Okay, Doña Chamoya. I love that name. Huh? Secret Magical Chicken Society rules the Mexiverse from the shadows? What's next? Killer Piñatas? Eh, you'd be surprised, buddy. This is interesting. Why did the skeleton want a friend? She was feeling... Bonely. <laughs> I'm so bonely. Oh, goodness gracious, lady. I am so sorry. Don't go near the Jade Temple. I hear a gargantuan skeleton lives there. It's very scary. Good to know. Flameface's Fightatorium? Wait. Are we gonna see Flameface again? Oh, dear. Um, it looks like I can- Oh, wait, no, I can't. Oh, hey, it's the- Oh, no, I can't. Dang it. Well, it's good to know that the Olmec statues are back. But anyway, um, I think I'm gonna go back to the uh, living world and then call it an episode, but, um, what the? Oh, thank goodness. It's so finally to see somebody. Whoa, why Chivo? What happened, man? This portal here will lead you to the living world. Go ahead and jump in when, when, jump in right in when you're ready. The council is waiting. Is there anything else I can do here? Doesn't look like it. Goodness gracious! Tostada! You made it! And with the luchador! Amazing! One, we are the Council of White Chivos. Welcome to our secret hideout. I was not ready for this. We think Salvador might be after the sacred guacam- The sacred guacamole. Are you freaking kidding me? Let me explain what that is. Lights, please! Diem Pokli, the god of time, rules over above. Ah, uh, why? Well, I, I missed that. He spent centuries perfecting his recipe. However, sadness overcame him every time he finished eating a batch. Diem Pokli came with up, came up with an idea, El Otro Mundo. I think a place where all of time converged. With guacamole in his past, present, and future, he'd never run out. Naturally, he was quite protective of his recipe. Mortals were not allowed to taste his sacred guacamole. So he hid the key to El Otro Mundo, Otro Mundo inside the three magic relics. And then he went to sleep. We think that Salvador wants to eat the sacred guacamole because he believes it will give him godly powers and cure his sickness. But if he gets hold of all the relics, it will make the voids even worse. The Jade Relic should be inside the Jade Temple. Juan, we need you to get there before Salvador does. This is so silly. But I think that's kind of the point and I love it. Ah, okay, here it is. Alright, so here we are back in the world of living, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here, guys. Um, that being said, like, it does- Flame face? You again! I remember you! How did you get back here? What? You thought you killed me? <laughs> I wish! Not with this curse of mine. I'll be here for eternity, muchacho! Anyways, I don't feel- don't feel sorry for me. I've combined my two greatest joys in life. Fighting and dingy bars. Why don't you meet me inside? You look like a man in search of a drink and something to punch. Interesting. We'll look at this later. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, interesting. Um, to finish my thought from before, um, the whole, um, the whole, uh, 
War speech parody for my top 10 favorite games of all time was impromptu because, like, I realized that I love Metroidvanias. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me for episode 2 of Let's Play Wakamele 2. In the next episode, um, we're gonna start off with seeing what Flameface is all about. Um, as well as explore a little bit of what's going on around here. And that pretty much is what's going to sum it up. Goodness gracious, there, there are white chivos everywhere. I got to say, I'm a little disappointed. I was told there would be snacks provided at the meeting. Oh, brother. Yeah, again, I'm still a little, I'm still a little, like, not used to Let's Playing by myself. I gotta get back into the groove, man. But anyway, um, thank you guys for joining me, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.